As the signs of spring unfold, from budding flowers on once naked trees to the lively melody of birds and the persistent presence of mayflies, the urge to step outside grows stronger. Amidst the burgeoning outdoor allure, the question arises, when is the ideal time to unleash the lawnmower? The answer, though nuanced, hinges on your lawn care goals. Whether you prefer waiting until the yard resembles a jungle or initiating the process when the grass awakens from its dormant state, which is around 55 degrees uh, for the soil temperature, the decision is yours. For optimal results, adopt a meticulous approach depending on your grass type. Trim zoysia and Bermuda grass lawns close to the ground, clearing away blonde and dead grass by bagging it. In contrast, maintain a St. Augustine lawn a little bit taller to prevent undue stress. This technique aims to eliminate unnecessary thatch, reducing insulation between the sun and soil. With less insulation, your lawn heats up faster, akin to the figurative enjoyment of a nice warm cup of coffee for your grass. Watch as Jose embarks on his first pass with the lawnmower, efficiently bagging the cut grass. An additional pass will follow shortly. Here, pass one time more. Yeah. One time more, because uh, you see, shake. When they pass one time more, start very bad. After this meticulous process, you may find that mowing is not required for the next two to four weeks. However, starting in April, consider adopting a weekly lawn mowing routine. Frequent mowing encourages grass growth horizontally, which leads to an overall denser lawn, the hallmark of a lush lawn. So, when do you commence your annual lawn mowing ritual? Well, any time between the last winter freeze and the initial stirrings of grass waking up from dormancy. Here's to all those who appreciate a vibrant, well-maintained lawn. Best of luck, and thanks for tuning in to this Chorby video. Remember, your chores, our passion.